what's up youtube welcome back to the youtube channel uh <laughs> i felt like that was kind of weird to say but i know you guys are um pretty much interested in how my first week of rugby went now it was interesting like it's it's I don't know how to describe it it's it's fun it's just super fun as hell you know so for those who want to know what position i'm playing uh i'm on the wing right now so i'm uh, expected to get that try and, and tote that ball you know what i'm saying and i feel like the reason why they have me on the wing is because i'm, I'm understanding that it's allowing me to not be too much into the gameplay on where the forwards are and um, in the scrums or in the rucks and stuff, but it's allowing me to kind of just uh, be on the side, wait, and um, still be able to do my job. Um, you know, so I'm learning to ruck, um, learning pretty much just learning the, the basics of the game, and it still allows me to be a part of it without having too much knowledge about the sport. Uh, I actually just finished doing a little test. We're doing uh, testing and stuff about um, rules and stuff of the game, and um, I'm I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm excelling um, with my knowledge of the game, still continually learning. We have our first game, our very first game next weekend. We play NOLA. Uh, will it be live streamed? Uh, no, it will not. I'm not sure when the games will be live streamed, um, but even still, you know, I'm going to try to have someone film me while I'm there. Uh, I still think that the team's going to have film regardless that share with us. So I can probably get highlights and all from that. Uh, hopefully I go off in my first game, get a try or two, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but the team's good. You know, we're, we're doing well. We're starting to build together. The, the team is honestly full of a whole bunch of, uh, football athletes. So, you know, these guys are, you know, they're strong, they're fast, uh, they know how to move and, um, pretty much look kind of like me, everybody, a lot of the team is new to the game of rugby. So they pretty much picked, you know, D1 college athletes, some um, people who are in the NFL as well, and uh, we just made a rugby team. And um, the goal of the team is actually to progress us and get us to the um, international USA rugby team because the USA international rugby coach apparently comes often to our practices and um, you know pretty much picks people. Apparently, they need. Uh, players and uh, I think that's pretty dope you know that pretty that puts a lot of motivation on me to get to that level you know and they're even talking about um me even being on the seven squad so not not me like now like actually being on the seven squad but I'm talking about like progression as things get better as I learn the game more and um you know build my knowledge of the game and uh it's it's, it's motivation I mean because the sevens I mean they get to play in the Olympics like what's more motivating than that you know, you get to be a part of the Olympics and that would be freaking dope. I'm, I'm over here like, dang, I'm trying to do as much as I can in Excel and get my passing and stuff down and running and, and conditioning so I can be a part of that. Heck, what well, they got Tokyo like, this year. So that would be pretty freaking amazing. I'm, I'm pretty, it's, it's a, it's a long, long haul. You know what I'm saying? It's a very sh slight chance, but let's say if it does happen, you know, either way, I would still love to be a part of that. Um, so practice is good. A lot of just really just basic stuff, learning how to jackal, um, a lot, a lot of learning how to play defense properly, how to tackle properly, which I'm still trying to get a hold of because the tackling is very different from football. You know, we just kind of go in there and just you know, wreak, wreak havoc on everything. And uh, there's a certain form uh, that is wanted with this, which is kind of like mentally just like, it's good, but when you're actually in action in full speed, you just kind of want to tackle however. And also when, you know, the ball carrier goes down and you're trying to ruck, you know, coming through the gate, uh, certain things that we don't want to get penalized with. And that's, that's, the, that's the ball game. A lot of the ball game is penalties and they are teaching us as much as possible to keep away from these penalties. Um, you know, pretty much it's about the law of the refs. The refs give us a chance to redeem ourselves, to keep from being penalized as they talk to us about what's going on. Like they, let's say you're about to in the rug and you, you see the ball open, you want to grab the ball, but you've already made contact. And so you can't make the rug um, after you make a tackle, making sure you're rolling out, you know, certain things that, can pretty much have these penalties that gain for the team that where they just want to take away from us because as a new team 
as a lot of players that um, haven't played the game before, we have to learn the basics of the game, the law of the game to keep us from getting so many penalties and um, losing motivation because penalties and stuff, you know, lose motivation. Other team gets the ball. You know what I'm saying? You got to work harder and we want to conserve our energy to be able to score, um, period. So um, that's what my first week has been a lot of. And um, I mean, I want to, like I said, man, it's, it's fine. The conditioning's not too crazy right now on me. Um, I'll, I'll do go, we'll do go run, run some hundreds. Um, I haven't run a Bron Bronco yet here, but I did run a Bronco in LA and I was like a 450. I'm pretty sure it's like a five. It'd probably be like around like a five, 10, 20 here, to be honest. Um, got got used to the breathing out here, so I'm not as tired on the field anymore. I still get tired, um, but I'm not as tired on the field anymore. Um, but I'm uh, trying to get some film for you guys. You know, the coaches are allowing me to actually have film and, um, you know, have somebody shoot my practices and stuff. Um, you know, they encourage that because they want more people to know about it. And I want more people to know about it. So I'm still looking for someone in Denver uh, to help me film and stuff for you guys. So you can get a little bit more in depth of, um, you know, what we're doing in the game, you know, see me in action um, on the field, our training and everything. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been pretty tough. Um, finding a schedule for myself like sometimes you know we'll we only train in the weight room three times a week but like even still because we train full bodies on mondays wednesdays we hit it again it's more like power explosiveness and then uh, fridays it's like um leg training and stuff so it's like dang you know i don't even know what to train on my own because a lot of rugby honestly is recovery you know, which I, I'm used to training all the time, every day. And it's like, I really can't, you know, I'll try to do minor stuff here and there, but recovery is my number one thing right now. Um, my first week, I kid you not, dude, I was, I was sore everywhere. I was sore just from throwing the ball. Like just, I was just sore. Like, I'm like, yo, why is my upper back, my shoulders, like everything was aching for the entire week. And I, I thought it was the bed or something. I didn't understand what was going on. And um, so, yeah, it's just like this constant movement of just working the throws, trying to get my throws right. Um, my left side, I'm still working on, you know, I work on it every day. But my right side, I do pretty good throwing to the right. I mean, th I do pretty good using my right arm throwing to the left, but I do bad trying to get it to the, the right side, you know, because that left arm. So I focus on that a lot because, you know, that throwing is uh, going to be uh, a game changer when it can be done correctly and when I can build the confidence um, to do it full speed. You know, sometimes I do a full speed and it just kind of goes a little bit too forward, a little bit too back. Um, the ball is not a, a good spiral, uh, but they tell me not to wor worry about the spiral so much right now. Just worry about the location, getting my arms out, um, fully going through. And um, um, so I've just been working on that. But uh, in all, dude, everything has been, you know, great, fun. Um, back in the in the, the medic field getting my knees and stuff <laughs> uh compressed and iced and stuff i'm like dang man it feels good to really uh just be a part of a team again uh everybody's you know having a good time everybody's about their business i'm um, excited to play the game a lot of us football players are just excited to play the game and you know say how just fun this is and how um less stressful in a way like we don't, don't get me wrong like we put in work we're serious about this especially when they're in the game and i'm like and i'm fucking up and like players are like yo it's wrong get your ass over here blah, blah. you know stuff like that and um it's everybody it's not the difference between like rugby and football it's like the egos of each character of the game is, is different you know it's not like everybody gets a chance to hold the ball everybody's accountable for you know everybody and i feel like there's just a different um amount of ego that is just like the separation from football and, and rugby that's a lot better in rugby because you know everybody's just looking out for for everybody pretty much and if you mess up somebody's there to you know somebody's just there to support you and that's what the game is all about support you know from the left side support from the right side you get tackled you go down making sure you're getting that ball back um getting it back to your team doing your job and and it's it's been great i've just been really enjoying it um so once again i'm going to try my best to start getting this you know this tehran fb aftermath documentary rugby 
type style um, videos for you guys um, to get on this channel and uh, I just want to let you guys know and once again you know I'm, I'm trying hard to be as active as possible on my socials on you know I just stream on Twitch um, YouTube trying to get more videos up for you guys but I'm still trying to find balance in all of my uh, social media while I'm doing this um, you know because my concern right now is just the sport and um, it would be a lot easier if I just had a video guy and didn't, don't have to film myself pretty much. Uh, just, I just can't do that. But I'm going to try my best to find balance. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying You know what I've been posting on social media right now from Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, at FB Aftermath to keep up a little bit more. And um, yeah, so let's just keep this game going. I'm excited to have my first game next weekend. And I hope to see you guys uh back in my next video much love and appreciation get you guys later what's up baby what's up baby <laughs> i try to film you but my hands was too cold it's too cold it's not good i'm gonna be voicing it over <laughs> she tried to film for me chat but uh it's cold out here it's cold she had no gloves came out here and i guess i'm i'm uh, i'm layered up though Layered up. I got layers under here. Double cheeked up. Double cheeked up. <laughs> yeah, bad. We got film. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna give you the number of the call. Uh, for the oven. For the oven? Oh, okay. Unless you don't feel like doing that. Well, yeah, I can do it. Doesn't matter. I ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> First fucking day of practice. Today was an easy day. That's the thing. Today was a short day. Short was you, day. Was you winded out there? Heck yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, they got that over there. I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay right here. I'm one of those, like, if you need me for, like, the last bit moment, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna get him. And, you know, that last person, when I know it's gonna be the last person you can't pass up, I'm gonna go all out. Boy. He, he said, nah, he got it. They got it. Yeah, they got it. <laughs>